My name is Bonnie Buckaroo, author of the book Speaking of Murder. It makes a new contribution to the true crime genre. We call it the media autopsy. Media autopsies allow me to dissect famous crime cases to see whether journalists really do bring justice to the accused, to the victims and their families and friends, and to the community. In volume one, I take my scalpel first to the case of Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, the silent film star. Fatty stood trial three times for a crime that was probably not a crime at all. It was prohibition and aspiring starlet Virginia Repé ended up dead of an infection following a private party that Arbuckle attended. Many newspapers portrayed the party as an alcohol-fueled orgy, with Virginia as the saint and Fatty as the archvillain. Though he was ultimately acquitted, Arbuckle's career by then lay in shambles. And like many who feel pilloried by the press, he wanted to know, so where do I go now to get my good name back? The second case raises larger questions about our society. In 1964, young Kitty Genovese was returning home late after work one night when she was attacked and murdered on the street by a stranger. The case is unique because Abe Rosenthal of the New York Times wrote about the case in an article called 38 Witnesses, in which he talked about how her neighbors had heard her scream for almost half an hour but had done nothing, most of them saying, I didn't want to get involved. At Michigan State University's School of Journalism, where I coordinated the Victims in the Media program for many years, we called this an Act Three story. That's a story where journalists break the mold and tell us something that we need to know beyond the crime itself. In this case, Abe Rosenthal challenged us to look at our culture, to see why so many otherwise good people could simply shut their windows and go back to bed. In the third media autopsy, I explore how acclaimed novelist Truman Capote invented the nonfiction novel to tell us about the murder of four members of the Clutter family in Kansas. In addition to exploring how Capote crafted a masterpiece from this heinous crime, this media autopsy looks at the toll that covering such cases can take on the journalists who report them. I invite you to buy the book on Amazon or download it to your Kindle. High school and college instructors should visit the Speaking of Murder blog on speakingofmurder.wordpress.com to download the free study guide. My goal in producing this continuing series is to help reporters report on victims without re-victimizing them and maybe to help us find ways to prevent these crimes so that they never need happen again.